Power 10 News Midday continues in high definition. All righty, welcome back. With me now is Patrick Byers with the University of Missouri Extension Office, and today we're talking about compost. Compost, brown gold, That's wonderful right. thing for the Ozark <laughs> Garden. All right, so let's talk about um, what is compost. Well, compost is organic matter, and we've got some compost here. It's basically plant and animal debris in various stages of decomposition. So and it's, it's multiple things. It's multiple things. You know, and it's wonderful in the garden. It it conditions the soil. It's a source of, of nutrients for the plants in your garden. It feeds the uh, microorganisms in your soil, and it's very helpful to make your soil drought-proof. Okay, really. And, and I, we were actually just talking about this. You can make your own compost? You can make your own, yes. Okay. Um, composting is a natural process, and all you have to do is provide the raw materials, which are things like yard uh, waste, um, food waste, uh, animal manures, clippings, straw, leaves, those sorts of things. You pile them up. Turn the pile, keep it moist during dry spells, and the end result is compost. Okay, so what is a, the main ingredient in something like this? This particular compost is primarily based on plant debris. And when, when it was made, we used things like sticks, leaves, uh, shredded up bark, those sorts of things. So really, when's the best time of the year to collect these things? When um, After the harvest? Like, well, uh, or? The, the composting process actually is, is most effective when it's warm. So we're right now leading into the, the high season of making your own compost. Okay, so you should go out to the, your yard. Um, walk me through the steps. Go out to your yard and just grab all of the dead matter. Gather up the material. If you if you mow your lawn, those lawn clippings are fantastic. Save vegetable scraps from from uh, preparation of meals. Uh, it can be helpful to find a source of manures from so it's not, like I, I was, horses and I was not trying to be gross, but what about yeah. if you have a dog? Uh, generally best not to use dog and cat waste because uh, those animals sometimes share parasites with humans and you want to probably stay away from using that. Well, I'm really happy I asked that question now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so is there anything else that you want to let somebody well, know about I, this? I, I do want to mention, you know, this is a really nice lead and we have a series of classes coming up called the Organic Gardening Academy at the Extension Office here in Springfield. And those classes will begin in May. We'll have okay. uh, several classes each month in May, June, July, and August and into September. And it will cover all things related to organic gardening. That's awesome. Where can people get more information? Call us at the Extension Office. Our phone number is 881-8909. All righty. Thanks again, Patrick. Hey, thank you, John. We'll be right back.